Hello everyone and welcome back to English with Kaylee. In today's video we're going to be analysing another one of Jackie Kay's poems which is entitled Darling. So this poem, uh, the title of the poem is Darling and this is also the title of one of Jackie Kay's anthologies. Um, it's actually the title of the anthology that is listed on the syllabus for the A2 Cambridge examination for A level. Um, so the new work included in Darling, named for Julia Darling, who you can see in the picture here, was a close and wellness friend of Kay's. Um, and it presents a very varied canvas uh, and, and it, it combines and mixes a lot of weighty topics such as identity, love and grief. Um, but of course, always utilising and embedding Kay's uh, revealing humour throughout. Um, so, uh, some guiding questions that we can use as we go through and think about the poem uh, are which key themes are explored within the poem and what is the portrayed relationship with death in the poem? Um, so first of all, I'm just going to read out the poem to you uh, and then we'll look through the analysis of each stanza. Darling, you might forget the exact sound of her voice or how her face looked when sleeping. You might forget the sound of her quiet weeping, curled into the shape of a half moon. When smaller than herself, she seemed already to be leaving before she left. When the blossom was on the trees and the sun was out and all seemed good in the world. I held her hand and sang a song from when I was a girl Heal your ho boys, let her go boys. And when I stopped singing, she had slipped away. Already a slip of a girl again, skipping off, her heart light, her face almost smiling. And what I didn't know or couldn't see then was that she hadn't really gone. The dead don't go till you do, loved ones. The dead are still here holding our hands. Uh, so a beautiful poem uh, from Jackie Kay um, and now we're going to take a look at it uh, in a little bit more in depth um, with some notes on analysis. So as I said Darling is the title of the poem and her anthology um, and of course this is a eulogy um, in memoriam of Julia Darling. And of course, also, we have this universal address term of endearment as well um, in, in terms of the word darling. Uh, so it makes the poem almost universal as well, as if, you know, Kay is talking to anyone who may have lost someone and who may be feeling this grief. Um, so the first stanza we see um, really talks about the difficulty of loss um, and the effect of time. And, and what we feel we may lose. Um, you might forget the exact sound of her voice or how her face looked when sleeping. You might forget the sound of her quiet weeping curled into the shape of a half moon. Now straight away we've got the second person pronoun um, with the poet and the speaker really talking directly to the reader. And, and what's quite interesting is that, I mean, we have this internal rhyme, um, but the, also the use of the present continuous as if to note, you know, the longevity and the continuation of life after death and, and within those moments and what we remember about people even after they've left us. And it's this, this idea that often and sometimes we may lose the you know, we may forget those small things and those things may leave us, but, you know, the relationship that you've had with that person will always live on. Um, and then we have the, this beautiful imagery curled into the shape of a half moon. Um, and when I read this, I, I was looking at this kind of the phases of the moon um, from the full moon to the half moon and this almost phasing out uh, which is obviously quite symbolic of death. Um, but also we see the shape of the half moon almost in the fetal position 
you know, and and especially when we when we look at the previous line about her quiet weeping, it almost shows this regression and someone who's in need of care. Um, and this may be something that somebody may actually be willing to forget, um, you know, the, the moments of pain. And this is possibly one of Jackie Kay's messages here, that yes, we may lose, you know, that, that exact sound of their voice, um, but we may also lose those moments of sadness and hurt when we, or, you know, when, when somebody witnesses another person in pain. Um, and, and we have this enjambment here, when smaller than herself, she seemed already to be leaving before she left. When the blossom was on the trees and the sun was out and all seemed good in the world. I held her hand and sang a song from when I was a girl. So here we see somebody who's obviously been enduring a, a long-term illness that even before she left, you know, she was the... the the person being uh, spoken about here, which obviously we know is is Julia Darling, um, that you know in those later stages of her life she almost seemed to be dwindling away. Um, but we have this beautiful imagery and semantic field of nature with the moon, blossom, trees, sun, and world, um, which of course we can link back to the beauty of life as well. Um, and celebration of life and and the natural process that's occurring and of course looking at death and, and rebirth as well of somebody who's lost someone and how they channel um, that transformation, that transformative uh, moment in their life and, and how they move forward. Um, and we see this a very long sentence here, all the way from you might forget the sound of her quiet weeping, all the way to all seem good in the world. Um, again, looking at this longevity and the continuation and, and almost this hope to hold on to the moments when that person was still with the speaker. I held out, I held her hand and sang a song from when I was a girl. Um, we see hands spoken about twice in this poem. It's almost a motif of strength and loyalty. And we have this beautiful consonant, held her hand, the H sound. And again, that, that kind of unity and strength um, in love for one another. So then it moves on to this. Uh, to this phrase here written in italics, which is actually from a Scottish song, Heal your ho boys, let her go boys. And when I stopped singing, she had slipped away, already a slip of a girl again, skipping off, her heart light, her face almost smiling. So this is a Scottish song. Um, the song is actually referring to being on a boat, uh, which again gives us this idea of being at sea, uh, which links to nature again and the beauty of it. But of course we have this connotation of, of it's time to let go um, and time to, to move on um, from the, you know, the real world. Um, and, and passing on. And when I stopped singing, she had slipped away. I've got this very, you know, euphemistic expression here to explain uh, that the person in the poem has now, has now died. Um, and then we get again this present continuous coming through, um, this skipping off and smiling. Um, and I think that this is particularly effective because even after she's gone, it still goes back to this idea of the memories that we have of that person do not leave us. Um, you know, and here we get this volta here in the emotion. She had slipped away. So there is a lot of, of difficulty and upset in seeing the person um, in pain and discomfort. And, you know, the moment that, that she moved on and she passed on, um, we already see this idea of, of skipping off and smiling. We get this blissful image, uh, playful motions, in, you know, in the face of death. And, and what I didn't know or couldn't see then was that she hadn't really gone. The death don't go till you do, loved ones. 
the dead are still here holding our hands. Um, and this is almost a di direct response to, to the first stanza um, and, and almost retrospective and almost a retrospective reflection of this transformative stage of grief, how it, in the moment we feel as if you know they're gone and we can't remember those intricate details or intricate moments of their lives. However, the dead don't go till you do, loved ones. And she's using loved ones here again to talk to the reader and to unite, to unite people in that we all face this at one point in our lives. Um, but the dead are still here holding our hands. And again, we've got that motif of hands and, and strength in coming together and how we can move on. You know, a message of reminder to the reader and, and it really gives a positive outlook on the remembrance of loved ones. And, and of course, if we look at the stanza structure as well, so we've got four stanzas, each made up of quatrains, so four lines in each stanza. Um, you know, again, almost very reflective and, and, and looking back over memories with, with happiness. You know, there's no jaded lines there. You know, the punctuation is quite soft and smooth, allowing those memories to flow. Um, in terms of AO5, one thing that we can actually note is, is Julia Darling herself. Um, she was a poet and writing in her introduction to the anthology, The Poetry Cure, uh, Julia noted it's a powerful force speaking of uh, poetry which can help us through the darkest times. I'd like to see more poets in residence in the health system, more poetry books in waiting rooms, more poems on the walls, more training in creative writing for doctors, and more poems printed on primary care leaflets. Um, so she's looking at, you know, poetry is a powerful thing that can help us through loss or difficult times when we face health issues and loss of, of family or friends. Um, Julia is also very, very famous for her, her idea about positivity, um, you know, and, and looking on the bright side of life. And, and Jackie very recently, um, in October of 2021, she read this poem, Darling, um, you know, and, and, and I believe she made a joke about what Julia told her that, you know, it only hurts if I try to stand up and do the karaoke. So this was just before she passed away. So still seeing the positivity in life. Um, so that's definitely something you could include. Another one is also David Paddy looking at how identity um, is created through our experiences and what happens um, and, and how we grow and how we change um, when, when we lose loved ones. So that's another one you could use. So I really hope that this video has helped you. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Uh, in the next video, I'll be continuing with Jackie Kay um, and her poems about death and loss. Um, so yes, I do hope it was helpful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.